Okay, I'm back. Did anyone happen to see if the ad break did anything? Because <laughs> I have no idea on my end. If not, whatever. I just thought I would run... Try that during BRBs, because why not? Sorry I used TTV. Oh, I don't even know. I didn't know there was a... That's fine. You can do that. I don't care. I just thought, you know what? I've never done that before. I might as well while I'm not, you know, doing anything important. I'm never going to run an ad break, like, in the middle of me playing something. Didn't do it for me, but that may have been my fault. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I might find out, like, afterwards. But anyway, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Other thing, it, pro it probably did change, but, uh, let me know if the category changed to Mario Advance. Or Mario Advance 4, because that's what we're playing. It did? Okay. I can stop asking that now, probably, because it seems to have worked every time. So yeah, welcome back to this. Last week we played... Up through... 17 levels, I guess? 17 was 5, really. Uh, so 22. And I'm just gonna jump right back into it with Ice Cubed. If I can remember what buttons are what here. It's a little jarring transferring from Mario Galaxy to this, but uh, I kind of like the idea of Mario Monday having more than one game. Even though at a point I was considering doing Mario Maker for half the stream and then something else for half the stream, but I'll probably start doing that at some point. I also got a stream on, you know, one or two of those other six days we have in a week. Also, is the volume still okay? Because this game seems to be a slightly little bit louder, but it should be fine, I think. This outside nighttime ice castle. That's like the the cool thing about these levels is like the uh, different like level theme mashups that you never see in Vanilla Mario Three or Two Boom Booms, for instance. Should play Mario Maker 2 again? I think I played it for like three days after I bought it and then never again. I have like 700 hours in it. <laughs> because it's just infinite Mario levels. I haven't made... Because that's what I wanted to do was like make a bunch of levels on stream. And then make like an entire world. 
Um... Because I feel like I hadn't made enough in that game. Like, I really wanted to and then just never did. And I felt like I squandered that part of the game. And like, I kind of owe it to my younger self to make more Mario levels. Because like, now I have the ability and I just don't do it. Yeah, remember the Mario Maker level created by chat like two years ago? I do not remember the proper way to do this level. Yeah, I think, like, the first thing I do if I stream Mario Maker again... I should say when I stream Mario Maker again. First thing we should do is, like, finish that level. Tie up that loose end. I mean, these levels have features that even Mario Maker doesn't have. Like, these blocks? that you can break with the hammer suit? I really miss all the amiibo sprites. Amiibo sprites. Oh, yeah, 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 the mystery mushro uh, mushroom. I forgot that was even a thing. I totally forgot that entire thing from Mario Maker 1 is just... Why would I need that? Was I supposed to get the leaf? Yeah, I forgot that entire thing of Mario Maker 1 existed. And there was no reason for them to take it out. The Switch has amiibo functionality. So there was no point to that. They could have kept that, and they could have added, like, even more costumes. They probably didn't want to. They probably knew we were getting, like, even more amiibo because of Smash Brothers, and they were like, we don't want to have to add all these new characters. in there. But, I'm not sure where I'm meant to be. Should be like another ice block somewhere. Oh, there it is. I didn't need that. But I think I did. E. Dream of the adulthood is dead. I can't play Mario as Bayonetta. I am running out of time. Oh, there's the other coin. They were right, this is a puzzling pipe maze.
Oh, the exit is like right there. We got 50 seconds. We can do this. Maybe not. Maybe not. 40 seconds. Thirty seconds. We're gonna make it. We made it. Hell yeah. <laughs> OpenGL inject Mario sixty four into the PC port of Bayonetta. You can put, you can just like drag and drop Mario 64 Mario into anything now. Oh, I unlocked the last, wait, which house did I unlock? This one? No, we played this one last week. <laughs> Give me the Tanuki suit. No! Oh. I think I unlocked this one. Yes, we did not play this one yet. This one is just like... How long can you survive, I think? Or something like that. Oh no, there is an end. We got the Tanuki suit after all, how about that? You know what, and I'll even play again. I don't know if it gets like progressively harder. I guess not. Did anybody... Does anybody... Uh, around my age... Did you guys ever play games on, like, your TI-84 calculator? Did you ever, like... Like, the calculators you had for school, were you ever able to, like, download games to them? Because I did that. And there was a game not unlike that mini game that I just played. Not my own TI-84, but I have done that. What games did you have? If you remember. Because I remember having, like, there was, like, a Mario 3 port. There was Tetris. But there was this game called Agility that my entire class got, like, obsessed with. And it was just, like, an endless runner that went... You were just... It was text-based. You were just, like, this V trying to dodge asterisks and it got like faster and faster and narrower uh, narrower and narrower <laughs> it's a hard word to say um and it was so addictive that was like iPhone games before iPhone or before smartphone or whatever I probably should have used an item. You played that? Oh my god, I haven't thought about that in so long. Cookie Clicker TI-84 version probably already exists. <laughs> I wonder if people still program for that. Still make, like, new games for the TI-84. <laughs> it was cool, because, like, that's the only time you could have video games in school. Get ridiculous near the end where the pathway is pretty much only the worth, uh, the width 
of your little ship. Yeah, it would like narrow down to like two or three columns. I got like so... I should dig up my calculator and see if that's still on there. Because I probably have it. No, the battery probably fucking died long ago now that I think of it. Or I like took it out or whatever is more likely. Stomping Koopas. I bet you there's a website that has them to play in browser. You might be right. There's probably just like a TI-84 emulator you can play them on. What is this color scheme? I like these lime green blocks. That sounds like a stream idea, like a bite-sized segment. That would be a good idea. If I find out there is, like, something just browser-based or whatever that you can play them in, I'll, I might do an actual stream of that. Size segment. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, that's about how big those games were. Like two kilobyte games. <laughs> if that actually. Oh, this level sucks. Where do you see this? have to just keep running. Do not stop. And I already missed a coin. missed and the last one is like ridiculous and I fucking got it holy shit oh I was not expecting that I'm not worrying about the coins on stream but I do at least want to beat all the levels Okay, we got four. Can we get all five? And should I even chance it? Yeah, I should not chance it. Beating the level is hard enough. Thank you. 
But yeah, this is like somebody, uh, something somebody would make in Mario Maker. Where you have to just keep running and jump just right. I keep hitting those walls, which is not good. Yeah, fuck that. Just totally did not jump at the right time. Or at all. So it did not register. Alright, I'll take that. That works for me! Hold on, I want to use an item. Let's be Tanuki. Wiggler does not die from Tanuki statue. Or anything, it looks like. Too angry to die, yeah. That's like Wario. Literally, in Wario Land 2 and 3, Wario doesn't die because he doesn't feel like it. He should be the king. Yeah, King Wiggler. I don't want the regular leaf. I want to be special leaf Mario. Oh, scared me. And there goes my Tanuki, and there goes Mario. And oh, we're fallen for some reason. I'm just going to take the easy way out. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, that was a bad idea. Mario collects that coin with his cheeks.
try that again. Man, I wish these levels actually came out when they were supposed to, in like 2003. Because, you know, Kid Me probably would have been even more amazed by these... ...than I was as an adult when this came out on the Wii U. Because even by the time this came out on the Wii U... Mario Maker existed, I think. I think this... I think they released this in, like, 2016. And Mario Maker came out the year before. Collected it with his tail, I think. <laughs> or his feet. fly over there this time. I know you guys are missing like half the level, but... If they didn't want me to do it, they wouldn't put it in the game. Luigi coin. Luigi didn't even get to collect his own coin. Mario stole the spotlight. Couple random Galumbas at the end. Yeah. I don't know why they weren't like anywhere else in the level. <laughs> Just at the end. Oh, we forgot to add these. Anyway, this level kind of sucks, but... It sucks if you want to find all the coins. Let's see how much I remember. <laughs> Troll blocks. I should have kept the uh, raccoon. Look at all these fucking Kaizo blocks, as some people like to say.
I say they're only Kaizo if they make you die. Which still wouldn't really be the proper term, but... Perfect. Bravo. Now I just gotta find my way out of here. I have a leaf. I don't know what these blocks are. These... Whoa! Checkered blocks. They're like my hat. Boo. That's a slow boo. I'm just gonna stay over here, I think. Maybe not. Okay, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I guess I remembered more of it than I realized. Anyway, there's only two ghost houses in here, and we did both of them now. This level I kind of don't remember that much either. But I do like that you get to use the cape again. No, oh, go up. Wait, go down. Wait, go up. Yeah, this is the part I forget. It's like... Where are you meant to go? And how are you meant to know to follow those coins, like... ...on the spot? I think there's still an E-coin in here. And I think I know how to get it.
that's not it. Alright, let's see what this does. Still gotta go more up? Seriously? This is like the only time in an official Mario game where they make you do this cape tech. I just gotta stay at this altitude. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Man, I was going into this worrying like a lot of these levels I was just not going to remember and it was going to be a disaster. But I'm doing alright, I think. And this is a fun level because it's got like digging up the sand from Mario 2. Since it's like special. Wasted it on tiny little Goomba. It's Sonic. And I killed him. I think there's more than one Sonic. something there. I mean, I guess it was pretty obvious. It was just a random blank spot. See, this makes me kind of wish, too, that we could have, like, elements of different Mario games. 
in Mario Maker, like, if you want to put Mario World enemies in with Mario 1 or something, they should have done more of that. Oh, that was an ambush. They did that on purpose. adventure. Nintendo loves to do alliteration with their level titles. Fireboys underwater. The brightness of all this blue is kind of hurting my eyes a little bit. It's like super saturated. Oh, definitely. It had to be that way because of the... Yeah, the Game Boy Advance screen it was so dark. So now you play all these games from back then on emulation and they're super saturated and bright. Like, if you play the Donkey Kong Country remakes, they are really bright. Actually, though, this had a mode where if you played it on the Game Boy Player, it would use, like, the SNES colors. But only this particular one had that. I always liked how the GBA screen thing created a genre of games with comic-y color palettes. We'll never see Metroid games that look like that again. That is very true. And I never thought about that for like, like Metroid or something like Castlevania when that was on the Game Boy Advance. And it's like they're never going to be that bright of color ever, ever again. And it was solely because of 
just how dark the GBA screen was. I don't know why it had that issue. Like, there were other color consoles, like portable consoles without backlights that... I don't know. I don't remember other other systems that upped the uh, contrast and saturation. Just do a hard save. I'll probably play like 20 more minutes till like 9.30 my time. We don't have that many levels left, but I'm definitely not going to get to all of these tonight. That'll have to be for next week. But let's do Bowser's Last Stand. It's like a new Bowser's Castle. Bowser's Mercy. That's when Bowser gets into, like, old age and just stops caring. He doesn't have the energy to deal with Mario anymore. Boomerang. I always squander this item. But you can do that. I did a Mario Maker level called Bowser's Mercy where Bowser both helps and tries to kill you. That's cool. That's a good idea. Like, you need him for certain parts of the level, and then other parts of the level, it's like, you don't want him around. Oh. Stupid laser. right into it. Come on. Come on! There's Bowser statues that give hints? That's a good idea. That's a good level idea. might end up being, like, the last level of the night, honestly. I didn't get a boomerang out of that. God damn it. This game suddenly got very hard. <laughs> Oh, 
was walking tall all night. Magic Koopa time. Why am I having like delayed button presses? Is my thing running out of batteries probably? Get out of here, please. And can I have another mushroom, please? Oh, thank you. These statues from Mario World. Forgot about them. Leap and lizards, Mario. See? Good thing I've got raccoon power. <laughs> oh god, I forgot the coin is like in the arena. Yeah, the difficulty definitely like ramped up by a lot. I think we might have this. I think we're good. Ooh. That was so close. That was even closer. I didn't know it could go down that low. But we are good. I think we got time for like one more good level. One or two. Or I can try and get the coins on this one. Nah, we'll do uh, Koopaling Confusion.
the gravy boat returned. Ooh, coin. Why did I come down here? Probably play a few of these myself after this is over, but make no, make no mistake, I will cheat. I am so tempted, like, the buttons are right, my fingers are on the ZR and ZL buttons, and I want to rewind. I wanted to re uh, rewind in that Bowser level so bad. But for the, st for the stream, like, if I wasn't on stream, I would probably just, yeah, after a while, cave and cheat. But for the stream, I try to do things as legit as I can. I think there's there has been like one or two times where I did rewind on stream for something. I don't remember what. Maybe somebody in chat does, but I don't. seems to be like an unwritten streamer thing. I figure people don't want to watch you play with zero stakes if you're just going to rewind everything. Unless it gets like... Unless it's like actually, you know, delaying the progress of the stream by a lot. I do not know where I am taking this POW block, I'm just taking it as far as I can and see what happens. Also there should be an E-coin somewhere. Are E-coins the currency that E-girls use? Nice. Why did I jump like that? That is so stupid. Please tell me there's like a power up somewhere. I don't want a one up, I want a red mushroom. That fucking sucks. I thought the POW block would like stun him. Does that imply Peach is an e-girl? Yeah, I know, I kind of said that right as it showed that it was Peach, and I didn't know it was going to be Peach. So I think... Yes, it does. <laughs> we got the e-girl coin. See, like, I probably could have just rewound there and nobody would have really cared, but I feel like I shouldn't, at least for a couple tries. This level is not quite as difficult as the previous one, so just takes a little while. So I don't know what the point of that POW block even was if it didn't... I don't know. I'll try throwing it at Ludwig. 
Let's see if it does anything. Uh, wherever it was. There it is. Probably want you to use it like out here or something with all these enemies, but Bravo. okay, here we go. Bowser was not the final boss. Of okay, it does nothing. It did nothing. It went through him. Beat the boss while keeping the POW block, yeah. I basically could have if I knew it wasn't going to do anything to him. Alright. I'm going to try... This is a really short level, but you have to be really precise, so I'm going to try and do this... Oh, I didn't get the fucking E-coin again! I thought it was... God damn it. Anyway. It doesn't matter. Who cares? I'm going to try and do this level... Real quick. I'm supposed to be small for it, I think. Now I'm small. Peach cares, yeah. <laughs> I'll get them, like, off-stream, because that will bother me. But for the stream, I'm just trying to beat the levels. And get, like, some of the coins. Not that one, apparently. Yeah, this one is very Mario Maker. It's kind of brutal. Looks like it would be simple, because it's 20 seconds long, but... You just gotta, like, do it and then remember when to jump. Jump. Little jump. Little jump. Big jump. Oh. That one coin is, like, a bitch to get. Whatever. We did it. We got three out of five. That's pretty good. Like I said, I'll get them. On my own time. And with that, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. Thank you for stopping by. Everybody who was here, everybody who is here. Always happy to see you. And I, I, so I guess next week I'm going to be back with more of the same, but we should be finishing both Mario Galaxy and this. So, after next week it will be all new Mario content for Mario Monday. But, uh, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Anyway, thank you once again, as always. It is greatly appreciated. Especially people who are subbed, thank you very much. You're very generous. It's not necessary at all, but I appreciate it. So, uh, anyway, take care, have a good night, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time.